determine the midpoint, one of the first things that we talked about when dealing with two points, and this should go back even to algebra one, if you're trying to find determine the slope, whenever we have two points, or if we're trying to determine the midpoint or the distance, we always want to differentiate between these two points because we know we can label these two points both as x, y, x, y, right? But we want to be able to differentiate between x because if I say what's x, you could say uh, there's two x's, right? So we differentiate them with x1, x2, y1, y2. I have seen some students do x1, x2, y1, y2. Remember, every coordinate point has an x and a y coordinate to it. So make sure it's always x, y, x, y. Then we go to our midpoint formula. So the midpoint formula, if I want to determine the midpoint between two points, it looks something like this. x1 plus x2 divided by 2, comma, y1 plus y2 divided by 2. And the midpoint, remember, creates a point. It's a coordinate point. So you have your x and your y coordinate. So now all we simply need to do is plug in our values for x1 and x2. And therefore we have negative 12 plus negative 8 divided by 2, comma, and then we plug in our values for y1, which is negative 7, plus negative 4, divided by 2. Now, notice, ladies and gentlemen, I put these in parentheses. That's just to make sure I, can make, I don't make a mistake on my um, subtraction side, or my you know, opposite side. I want to make sure I have that correct. Yes? What Make what negative? They're, they were negative up from here. Did you write that round down wrong? No. Oh, okay. So now I just add this up. So what's a negative 12 plus negative 8? That is now going to be negative bank thing. Comma. Negative 7 plus negative 4 is going to be a negative 11. Then, now I just simplify this further. Well, negative 20 divided by 2 is going to be a negative 10. And negative 11 divided by 2, I do not want you to give me the decimal version. I'd like you to leave it as a fraction. We'll talk about when we're going to be doing decimals in this class. But for right now, if you can leave a fra in a fractional format, this is the preferred method, okay? That's how you determine the point. So if you got that answer, um, but, you, you, but you didn't get an M, then you can maybe circle it.